from college. So welcome, Mr. Ravinash Kumar. You will get exactly you will get only 10 minutes. Please, you you have to finish within 10 minutes your presentation. <clears throat> welcome, Mr. Ravinash Kumar. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, am I your number? Am I your number, sir? Yes. <clears throat> yes, go ahead. Uh, so, respected Dr. Havil Maria. Uh, chair of the session, Dr. Muhammad Umar, co-chair of this session. Uh, we are very thankful to Summer Field School for giving us this uh, golden opportunity to share our research experience uh, with all the participants across the globe. So my uh, topic or uh, of research or the paper is effect of anthropogenic activities and climatic factors on the conservation of endangered faunal diversity of Kalato Khajiar wildlife, wildlife sanctuary of Chamba district of Himachal Pradesh. Uh, as you know, we all know that IUN, uh, IUCN, uh, and the red list of threatened species according to this IUCN. Uh, it divides all the species into nine categories, and that is not evaluated, data deficient, least concerned, no threatened, vulnerable, endangered, critically endangered, extinct, wild, extinct. And I will be talking about the endangered that, uh, the threatened species that uh, included uh, critically endangered, endangered and vulnerable species of this uh, prestigious wildlife sanctuary of Himachal Pradesh uh, in India. Chamba district is the north most district of, of Himachal Pradesh having average elevation of 1006 meters in which Khaljiar Kalato Wildlife Sanctuary is situated having 30.69 kilometer uh, square area uh, lies in the uh, beautiful district Chamba of Himachal Pradesh having dense deodar and fir forests covering about 19.63 kilometers of sanctuary. Uh, this Sanctuary is located about 10 km away from the Rahoji, that is an important hill station of uh, Himachal Pradesh of India, Venus Pheasants, Leopard, Yellow Throat and Martin, Himalayan Black Bear, some, and these are some common animals found here. Uh, this sanctuary lies in the path of Ravi River, surrounded by coniferous and oak forests. This is the panoramic view of Kalat of Khajia, wildlife sanctuary, dense forests. Uh, present in this sanctuary. This is the map showing the area of this Khajiar Kalato Wildlife Sanctuary. This is the Kalato area. This is the Khajiar area. This is the Dankun. This is the Kermandi. This is the Lauji area. And this is the uh, map of Himachal Pradesh uh, uh, district Chamba uh, having different places. And this is the situation of this Kalato Khajiar Wildlife Sanctuary uh, on the border of uh, uh, Chamba and other district. This is about some facts of this Khachajar Kalato by Wildlife Sanctuary. This is must clear. I will be talking about this endangered species and its, um, uh, its disappearance and its appearance after 20 years uh, of long span. The establishment year of the sanctuary is 1958 and having area of 17.17 .17 square kilometer. Uh, it is located in district Chamba of India, climatic uh, conditions as far as the climatic condition concerned, rainfall 400 millimeter to 600 millimeter and temperature ranges from 10 degree to 30 degree Celsius. Uh, it is a beautiful ecotourism spot having Khajar Kalato, Khajar Lake, Kalato area, Dankund area, Palwani uh, temple is there. Uh, then uh, about the fauna. Uh, important uh, uh, animals, mammals, leopard, Asiatic black bear, 
Himalayan rural, Himalayan zero, musk deer, that will, I will be discussing about, about this musk deer, barking deer, Indian porcupine, Arishas macaque, leopard cat, yellow throated martin, Himalayan grey loo, these are some important mammals residing in, the, uh, in this uh, wildlife sanctuary. This is sanctuary is also an uh, ortho ornithologist paradise with a plethora of avian species like chestnut wild mutats, oriental turtle, dove, black hat, jay, Himalayan griffon vulture also important uh, threatened species, common uh, hoopy, Himalayan molar, monal, spotted fork tail, hill petridge. About the uh, study area, this study was carried out from June uh, 2019 to August 2021 in different patches of Kalato. Uh, uh, and uh, Khajar, Lakarmandi, then Kund Kolhani area of wildlife sanctuary. Uh, uh, August month is the uh, month when highest rainfall recorded in this uh, area, and this is having a temperate climatic conditions. As far as the methodology is concerned, my search was based upon the interviews of senior officials, forest workers, local people, hunt collectors, Moshela collectors, migratory neighbors living in that area, nomadic grazers, shepherds, butchers. And literature review really also helped me a lot to find out the reasons behind the uh, negligible sighting of threatened wildlife fauna of the century. That is the main uh, topic about uh, the area Khajiar that is having a link uh, with a floating island in the center. There is a temple Khajinar, and this the name uh, has been derived from this uh, deity that is Khajinar. And uh, I have uh, discussed earlier about the important organism, individuals, or mammals found in this area. This is the panoramic view of Khajiar. This is Khajiar Lake, and this is uh, the dense forest. This is the area of Kalatov, area of Dankun. Now, original research problem how uh, I decided to go for this problem or to research about this uh, topic. This was invented by spotting of a single black musk deer in the sanctuary after 20 years long period. The sighting of Himalayan Shiro, that is also negligible since 19, uh, 2015 16. This has been a five to six years long span, and then when people uh, not uh, seeing even a single individual of uh, Shiro. So, research problem mainly oriented to analyze the factors responsible for negligible sighting of these uh, organism black musk deer, Himalayan. Uh, gray langur or Himalayan griffon vulture, this Himalayan shiro, and also to analyze the effect of human activities and change in the climate factors or change in the habits of this wild fauna of the sanctuary for their rare sighting uh, uh, from a long time. Objectives of our research was were to find out the regions behind absence of these important threatened uh, faunal wildlife from the uh, area from last uh, few years. And uh, this is to ensure their livelihood smooth and to ensure their conservation. Uh, these are some objectives behind the research. Uh, the important, uh, one of the important objectives behind uh, this research was also to remove those obstacles with the help of the Department of Forest and uh, Government of Himachal Pradesh, uh, to remove those obstacles which are actually threatening their survival and to allow them to integrate within themselves in that. Uh, their natural habitat, to increase their population, to maintain their race. Uh, these were also some uh, objectives. About uh, my result or finding or discussions, uh, as far as the tourist influx is there, about 10 to 12 lakhs tourist uh, influx is there in that area, which means about 1 lakh uh, tourists per month. A vehicular movement, you can all easily imagine how uh, many vehicular movements to the area uh, is there that is a that has been increased to a large extent tourists as well as local public wander uh, freely in the area uh, with the vehicle with blowing horns that also affect the survival of those or sighting of those organisms black musk deer is found in the in this area, sanctuary after 20 years uh, by that was spotted by uh, wildlife or tourist guide mr suvet bhagwaj uh, along our side in the way from Lakarmandi to Kalatop in the month of June 2019. Uh, recently in the month of uh, August 2021, recently, probably the same musk deer has again been recorded by two forest guards in the same area along the roadside and they also had tracked uh, that video in their camera for about uh, 35 seconds. 
So this has confirmed the presence of this beautiful mammal in this sanctuary. This is the uh, spotting of this musk deer, and this is the uh, video uh, I will uh, play next time. So uh, one of uh, the, uh, the more uh, findings there is a con uh, increased conflict between Himalayan grey langur and uh, human with increasing incident of crow preys due to destruction of their natural habitat, a reduction in the natural food sources. Uh, and the Chamba is the most favorable, favorable natural habitat for this grey uh, langur, Himalayan grey langur, but now uh, due to some human activities, hydroelectric projects, degradation uh, of their habitat, fermentation, horticulture expansion, uh, they have been uh, uh, their survival has been threatened uh, or, or the, and their um, sighting or their uh, conflict with uh, human in the area has been increased. A uh, major common threat uh, is uh, regarding habitat loss, degradation through human encroachment, overgrazing, building of uh, road through the forest, forest fire, predation by the, some carnivores like leopards, etc. Attack of some diseases also, also has also affected the uh, survival of these organisms. This is the sighting of um, these are commonly found in the area, um, Himalayan sector langur. Uh, population uh, now uh, about uh, Himalayan reformed vulture, Gips Himalayansis. Uh, their, their population also uh, been declined in the area due to the uh, uh, their feeding because of the diclofenac. You must have known about that. It's an in, in anti-inflammatory uh, drug uh, that is used on the livestock uh, that has led to renal failure, causes visceral gout in the vultures, uh, ulceration, carcinogenic problems. Uh, polythene content consumption, this also has led to the death and um, uh, disease causing factors in the, the uh, to those organisms. Changing climatic conditions might have proven harmful for their survival. That cattle are generally no thrown in the open by peoples nowadays, they are buried properly, so this also has affected the survival of vulture. Himalayan shiro, that is a shy mammal that is not sighted in the sanctuary since last. 15 years. Before that time, uh, some two or three players were uh, generally seen in the area. Then that was followed by the appearance of only females and that was followed by the disappearance of uh, females also. Uh, so there may be some mouth or hoof disease in 2005-06. That may be the reason of their death. Multiple zeros, uh, dead bodies were found in the nala and ditches during that time. That may be the reason. Now measures taken by the Department of uh, Forest or Wildlife for conservation of uh, biodiversity. They have banned drugs. These are not allowed in the wildlife unless the legal sources permission. No disturbance should be caused to wildlife. Natural habitat destruction, roosting areas, nest, dens, wildlife species is again prohibited in the sanctuary, sanctuary area. No natural water sources and other resources should be disturbed and this must be kept clean. A searcher should respect the local traditions and culture. Waste material should not be thrown in the area. Cleanliness has to be maintained. Cutting and damage to plants, trees, soil surfaces again uh, strictly banned. Collection of fuel. Please, we have, we have finished the time. Please conclude your presentation. Okay, sir. I'm concluding. Uh, there is a very little climate change in the area. Tourist tourism has no big effect on the survival of wildlife. Uh, uh, and wildlife has restricted to come near the road. Numerous griffon vulture in abundance in Dankun, Pulani area, Kali area. Uh, uh, there is a slight sighting of herd, uh, herd of wild boar in the area. Uh, due to some climatic change, uh, dro uh, dropping of scarce of Himalayan shiro has been found in the sanctuary area uh, during 2015-16. Musk deer uh, does face anthropogenic pressure in the sanctuary, uh, sanctuary area. That's why they have been uh, reduced to number who might have poachers killed musk deer primarily for musk cord or skin for their meat. Population density of black deer, yellow throated martin, uh, Himalayan goral has been increased. Uh, administration of has banned the administration of uh, diclofenac. Himalayan brown goral have been seen multiple times. They frequently visit the public or uh, inhabitation. Himalayan black deer has attacked uh, the people of the area multiple times. Habitat degradation, over exploitation, environmental change, increased anthropogenic activities have made the survival of endangered flora threatened. So now it is believed 
that Himalayan Sakralagur is no longer shy and they are frequently going into the uh, public major formal threat uh, that I have uh, discussed earlier. So, Department of Fine Fine conclusions there, Department of Wildlife has put in uh, efforts for the conservation of all the species. Trap cameras have been installed. Wildlife awareness is there in uh, to various activities. Local people participation has been increased. Human activities have been restricted. And this research will definitely aid in the designing and implementation of uh, holistic stakeholder involving participatory conservation program for endangered fallen diversity in sanctuary. And this research will open more venues for wildlife research and their conservation in India. Uh, so I am concluding with this. And these are this is the IUCN status of different organisms found in the area. IUCN status and these are different sanctuaries. And uh, so thank you all for hearing me patiently. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Avinash, uh, for your nice presentation. So, uh, our next speaker uh, will be 